Okay. One of my kids got me this cup. Is this not just the cutest? Hi everyone, welcome back to Coffee and Firsties. My name is Ashley Peters. I am a first grade inclusion teacher in Indiana and I am officially on maternity leave. Please ignore the glare on the window. It's actually extremely beautiful outside today. It is February 25th and my official last day was February 21st. That is a Thursday. I was going to go until that Friday, but we actually had a death in the family, so we had a funeral to go to on Friday. So technically, I had to take off Friday for a funeral, so I'm, I'm seeing my maternity leave as of today, which is February 25th. I'm so lucky. I've been saving up my FMLA days for a very long time. <laughs> I never take off days of work. So I've been saving up days for about five years now, and I'm able to take my maternity leave all the way into the summer. So technically I'm getting five months maternity leave, which is so awesome. And I'm so excited that I saved up those days because now I get to enjoy them. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about my feelings towards leaving my class and leaving for maternity leave. Um, this year, if you've been following my journey for a while, you know that I normally post weekly videos. I have I video myself teaching, I you know, put myself out there, I share with you what I'm doing in the classroom. I'm no expert, but I love to share what I'm doing so you can get a peek into my first grade classroom because I would have wanted that as a first year teacher or as any teacher, to be honest with you. I, my team and I talk all the time about wanting to visit each other's classrooms because you just learn things whenever you peek inside somebody's classroom. So that's what um, that's what I wanted when I started this YouTube channel years ago. I try and share as much as possible with you about my journey and about my classroom and my techniques and what I do behaviorally and all of that jazz. And if you have been following me since this school year so some of the few vlogs you've probably noticed that I honestly have not been able to post very much footage at all or me teaching at all this year um, and that's just to be in as some of you have seen some of my hardship videos I have had a very rough year um, God love Greg he's like this is gonna be your best year yet and <laughs> I you know, it is in some ways, in some ways it's not, but I just, I just had some feelings about leaving this classroom behind and I wanted to share it with you all, especially because I was trying to reach out and trying to find other teachers out there that had these feelings of mine going into maternity leave and I really didn't find anything, like, at all. I believe, and most of it is just how to prepare for maternity leave and none of it really had to do with the emotional side of leaving for maternity leave. So here I am sharing with you um, my thoughts on going into maternity leave and I'm hoping that I'm going to shed some light on something that might not be talked about really in the teacher world, in the teacher mama world. Hopefully if there is a prego teacher out there feeling the same way as I do, uh, you'll realize that you are not alone and that it's okay to feel these things. My last day, we decided to, my last day on Thursday, we decided to make it just a fun day. I There was like no teaching involved. We just kind of did our favorite things, our favorite team building activities, our favorite art for kids hub. There's a baby girl art for kids hub that we did. Uh, we played, we did some go noodles. It was just a fun, a fun day. I just wanted to have fun with my kids to celebrate the time that I've had with them. And that led us into lunchtime. And then after lunch, we did stop a mystery picture because they requested a mystery picture. My kids love mystery pictures. So I printed off one of those and it was just kind of one of those things where the kids kind of like got to choose what they wanted to do and learn that day. It was kind of a yes day for kids. Throughout that whole week, I was really feeling um, like I was in denial, like I was leaving these kids. Uh, and 
like like Thursday just wasn't a day that I was going to leave I don't know it just it, it it's not around spring break at all like my body wasn't ready to leave if that makes sense my teacher brain and body wasn't ready to leave for the summer and it was just some new experience I was in total denial that I was leaving don't get me wrong I was so excited but it was just it was a weird weird feeling a weird feeling that I would not be coming back to these kids in these cl this classroom so the end of the day rolls around and my principal announces on the intercom um, that they would like to wish me well and then at that point all of my kiddos just kind of came and attacked me I don't know if it just sank in for them or I don't I don't know what happened but it was just the sweetest moment I was totally fine crying at least uh, I was totally fine up until that moment and then I just I definitely uh, teared up quite a bit and I had to keep it together for my kids um, and it was it was a very sweet moment and they you know made me promise them not to leave uh forever <laughs> told them i would be back next year and that i would see them when they're in second grade there were a few kids that were particularly taking it a little difficult and that has what has been making this so difficult from the start of me transitioning into this maternity leave position um, are those are those behaviors and that is that's why I haven't been able to produce as many videos this year that's why I have been kind of emotionally checked out because I've um, spent so much time and mental space and emotional space and um, even physically sometimes I have just been on my kids in my classroom and it it's a bummer that 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 I got this group while I was pregnant because I wonder you know how much more energy I could have given to them if I wasn't pregnant it's definitely been a huge battle this year it's been a huge battle on trying to get through these eggshells trying to get through these different barriers to make a connection with my kids make a connection with a group of kids in my room this year and it just took a huge toll on me I was so exhausted it's exhausting being a teacher and it's exhausting being pregnant it's exhausted being a pregnant teacher <laughs> but it's also extremely exhausting when you have the hardest class of your entire career that I was very passionate about getting through those barriers and making those relationships and I can honestly say I seriously feel like I did more relationship building than teaching this year and I wish that wasn't the truth but it is and but with conscious discipline that's something that's really important to me so I'll link some of my conscious discipline videos up at the top I have a few of them out um, I'm um, very slowly starting to get into conscious discipline this year and have lived through it and worked with it with some very hard students and my whole classroom climate has changed I was able to get through all kinds I mean I was able to break through all kinds of different kiddos with this behavior management method so if you're interested if you've got a hard class or even if you don't uh, check it out it's really really life transforming um, but with this building those relationships was something that was extremely important to me and I spent so much so much of my, so much of my heart and emotional ability space in my body and my heart and my brain on building these relationships that when we started to interview for maternity subs in November I was having some extreme anxiety I'm not gonna lie and this is something that I was trying to reach out and find if anybody else has been feeling this way or if I'm the only one and you know it seems like whenever I looked online teachers were just kind of trying to figure out how to prepare physically like with the binders and the papers and the schedules and the lesson plans physically for maternity leave but I did not find anybody preparing mentally for maternity leave and that doesn't mean that they didn't care about leaving their kids but it was just one of those things where 
I was struggling so much. I was trying to reach out to others and online and my coworkers were fantastic. My principal was fantastic. They all kind of told me, just wait until baby gets here. It'll be, it'll be better. It'll, I promise it'll be better, you know. Um, but I was struggling so much back in November. And that was way before Christmas, um, whenever we were trying to find this maternity sub. And it was almost like nobody was good enough for my class. And it was, it was really, really, it was really, really difficult uh, because I had spent so much time on these kids and it almost kind of felt like I was trying to find somebody not that was gonna babysit my class, but take, take over because I'm not coming back. I wasn't coming, I'm not coming back. I'm going into the school year, so it's not like I can come back to these kids and pick up where I left off. I was basically dropping Mike and leaving is kind of what I felt like, and that's when the guilt started. And again, I was super open about talking to my coworkers and my principal about what I was feeling, and they were really great and reassuring me along the way, but um, I'm lucky that I have that support system, but what if I didn't? I, I, it was it was really hard. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many times I came home crying and was like, "Greg, I can't, I can't find anybody. You know, I can't. Nobody's good enough. Who's gonna, you know, what if this happens and they don't know because they haven't spent all school year with this child? And what if this happens and my room's gonna be a wreck because all of this, you know, I just had so many what ifs and so much anxiety, and it was hard. It was hard, and um, I made my decision." with the maternity sub and um, tried to be, you know, super confident with it, but it, you know, that anxiety did not go away and the anxiety turned into full on guilt, especially after my baby shower in January and heading into February, my due date month and my day, you know, my leaving month. And I think what was especially hard is that it started to kick in with these kiddos. A lot of the kids, of course, were, reacting in a normal way you know they were sad they would make me lots of pictures and then my kiddos that i had built so strongly a communication and a relationship with i had built that trust uh they were you know more reacting in a more i don't want to say violent way but it's it, it was kind of it was kind of like that it was kind of backtracking with where we were where we were coming from and I totally got it like you know they they knew I was leaving that their safe place that we had built all year long um, was soon coming to an end and their world was about to be flipped upside down and I knew that they knew that they could sense it and it was really hard to deal with all February long we had a lot of instances <laughs> I was 100% MIA from social media and YouTube because of that reason. I just had so much that I was dealing with and it was, it, it didn't help my guilt. It definitely did not help the guilt that I was feeling. I tried to be understanding and tried to kind of talk them through it that, that this is why they were feeling the way they were feeling and that it was normal and that it was okay. And, um, on the last day of school, I got some really tight hugs. And I'm gonna try not to get emotional, but I am 40 weeks pregnant right now. So I, I got some really, really tight hugs and some very sweet pictures and uh, tickles on my belly, which was adorable. Um, <sighs> it's hard, it was very hard leaving. So, I will miss them dearly. I'll never forget this class. I will absolutely go back and visit them and uh, probably won't bring the baby into the classroom because we've had a lot of lost sickness this year, but video chatting, I'll, I'll bring the baby on field day because that's kind of out in the air. And um, I have been just taking care of myself. Greg has been like counting the days for me to be home because I know he's been nervous all year long about how much stress I've been under and uh, I've been taking extra measures to keep myself relaxed and checking my 
emotions and stress at the door and when I come home this is my safe place and I try my best to ignore what's happened at school ignore the feelings that I've been feeling not ignore them but um, you know with anxiety you just kind of acknowledge that they're there and then move on to kind of letting them go and dealing with them only kind of at work type of thing so decompressing all year long fighting it like fighting the stress with the decompressing and it's been working i've really kept my stress levels down because of it i've, I've had a great i've had a really great pregnancy i've had a really great complicated free pregnancy and I'm, I'm really really blessed because uh, I was nervous I was nervous getting this class at the beginning of the year realizing what <laughs> what I would look like at nine months pregnant with these kiddos and um, it, it all worked out it all worked out if you are a pregnant teacher and you might be feeling some guilt and anxiety over leaving your kids whether or not you're coming back to that classroom or not i just wanted to let you all know that you know the reason that you're feeling this way is because you truly love your kids and you care about them and you take into consideration their their you know their heart and their soul because you know what it's going to be for you to leave them now don't get me wrong some of these kids are not even gonna like bat an eye that you're gone uh but there are those special ones that kind of sit heavy on your heart and that is what has made leaving so hard on me this year and if you're feeling these things then that is why and that you should be proud that you have built these relationships from the beginning of the year and that you have set a really good foundation for your maternity sub to build off of these relationships and passing those strategies and breathing strategies and calming down strategies you've passed all of that on strategies that you have taught these kids you can pass those on to your maternity sub and you know you should be so proud that you have spent that time with these kiddos and that hopefully you get to see them again and they are going to be so excited to see you I you know I can't wait to first meeting with the kids especially once I have the baby and they're going to be so they're gonna be so excited they're gonna be so excited and I'm gonna be excited to see them excited so if you're if you're a pregnant teacher and you're feeling guilty going into maternity leave one know that I've been there and that I understand why you are feeling the way you're feeling and that that just makes you a really really amazing caring teacher and there should be more like you in the world also know that once you get on maternity leave it does get better i am so excited to be sitting here at home while my kids are finishing up their second round of daily five I, it's like inevitable i look at the time and i know what they're doing in the class right now um it's a lot easier it's a lot easier on your maternity leave and it's definitely gonna be a lot easier once baby comes if this video was helpful for somebody I know it doesn't really target a lot of people a broad range of people but I just felt so compelled to kind of get this out there into the world because when I was researching these feelings that I was having I couldn't really find anything on teachers so you know I know that there are others out there that feel this way or that have felt this way so if you have been a pregnant teacher that felt this way or have gone through these things and you know it reminded you of something or you have advice for us on heading into maternity leave please leave a comment down below and let us know what advice you have for us teachers who are feeling a little bit guilty about leaving their kids and especially those hard ones that um we're relying so much on you throughout the school year for stability and safeness so that is going to be all for this video planning on literally like when i stop this video i'm going to jump right into another video about how i survived my first second and third trimester as a teacher because i did kind of live through all of those as a teacher experienced the hardship of being a pregnant teacher especially in a very busy classroom so if you are interested in that then stay tuned that's coming up next in one of my next vlogs and i don't know how many more vlogs i'm going to get out on this channel it's going to be kind of a we'll see type of thing i put up on my banner up there that i am going on maternity leave 
that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna post any videos until like next school year. I, I would like to get a video up, but uh, just a heads up that that is kind of why you're not seeing school vlogs, is it, especially if you're new to my channel. I wanted to kind of put a little note out there somewhere that um, I am on maternity leave and that's probably why you aren't seeing very many school vlogs and classroom vlogs. If you are interested in seeing my mommy journey and starting my journey as a mommy, I am due in two days. I have a personal channel that I have started, the Peters that I have started. It's very new, but that's where my husband and I are just kind of documenting our life. Right now there's a bunch of pregnancy updates on there, so if you love mommy vlogs and pregnancy vlogs, I'm hoping to capture as much of, you know, the birth and the labor process in the first few days and weeks, and as best as I can, I wanna get it documented on the Peters channel. So if that is something you're interested in, then I will leave the link down below so you can go check that out. Circle links at the very end of the videos where uh, you can click on them and become part of my Coffee and Firsties family, or you can become part of the Peters family, or both. Thank you so much for watching guys please like this video as it supports my channel and it will help give me encouragement that this video was helpful for somebody out there recommend this video to a pregnant teacher if you miss that they might be feeling the same way i will see you guys in the next one bye guys do you even know like it's like a it's like a it's like a bowling ball it almost kind of looks like i'm not pregnant right here and then I turn to the side and it's like, boom! It's time to get her out now. Time for baby to come!